so great to see you. I know. I love it. <laughs> hey, welcome back to uh, In the Can. Uh, this is the first day of the Sundance Film Festival year 2016. Things are just getting started. And uh, I'm really excited to have Virginia Pierce with us. She is the director of the Utah Film Commission. Welcome, Virginia. Thank you. It, it, we, see, we see you every year, regardless <laughs> of your position. You're, you're a longtime Sundance yes. uh, veteran. I love Park City Television. We, we met a decade ago. You at know, least, Back at the yeah. Institute. Yeah. yeah. It's, and uh, now you've... You took a little break from the actual film festival, mm -hmm. and then now you've come back to film in a way with the Utah Film Commission. Tell us a little bit about what the UFC does. So the Film Commission is really there to market the state of Utah to film productions wanting to shoot their movie here. So we talk about the resources that we have, the film crews, the equipment houses, the studios, all the things that we have that help make a film here. We talked a little bit about it in the open, but Utah is, is very unique. Mm -hmm. uh, not only, and, and you know, everybody knows the environment here. You can film in the desert, you can film in the mountains, you can film in the Red Rock, but not a lot of people know about the technological and the crew expertise that's in this state. I mean, a yeah. lot of big uh, productions come through the state, but yeah. we've really got the manpower here as well to support that. People don't have to bring in their own crews. Right. I mean, we've had such a long history of film in Utah. You know, over a thousand films have been made here since the 20s. You know, the John Ford Westerns got started in southern Utah and um, really have built since then we had a lot of television series here in the early 2000s and of course we had ABC's Blood and Oil mm -hmm. that shot right here in Park City right. last year and so it really has built up this very robust industry we have you know over a thousand crew members registered crew members we have businesses of all shapes and sizes mm -hmm. that really do it's a one-stop shop you come to Utah and make your film here with and, everything you need and what's really gratifying is I you know as I talk to some of the people that come in from New York mm -hmm. and Los Angeles they're they're not only happy, but they're surprised at the level of expertise. Yeah. And the brand new studio, yeah. of course, here in Park City, it's only been around for a year or two. Yeah. Uh, it's state of the art. It's as good it as is. anything you're going to find in the country or it's the world. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. custom built studio. It's 45,000 square feet. And obviously, Blood and Oil found a home there mm -hmm. and was able to shoot an entire network set series there. So I had a chance to be yeah. on that set. And, and even yeah. the backyard of the mansion yeah. is in the set. <laughs> I know. And they, they, did a, they did a great job with backdrop and painting and everything yeah. like that. But you could, yeah, the, the the hospital, the mansion, the uh, everything the was all in that amazing. one area. Yeah. It really was. It was. It was great. And of course, uh, you know, part of your job also is is not only to tell people about the amazing opportunities in Utah, mm -hmm. but there are some incentives in bringing filmmakers yeah. and uh, uh, production companies to Utah. And that's kind of what you're doing here at Sundance, right? Yeah. So most states who have a film program have an incentive program as well. I think 36 states have some kind of uh, tax credit program. And what that is is it's a post performance program so you come you shoot your film here you hire Utah crew you use Utah services and then you get a can are eligible for a tax credit of up to 25% back on what you spent in Utah mm -hmm. so it's a pretty common setup for a program ours is a, a great consistent program we have been running it since you know 2011 this particular program and have seen over 110 million dollars spent in, in economic impact in Utah because of the incentive program you mentioned you know obviously a lot of states do that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants production yes. companies to come. <laughs> do, you, do you find that you not only have to sell Utah, but you have to kind of do a comparative? I mean, if, if you know a production company yeah. is thinking either about, you know, the Northwest or Utah, right. do you do your research and you, and you actually do kind of a comparison and show them mm -hmm. why Utah is a better? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's very competitive. Obviously, it's, you know, there's states that are competing among the, the big guys, you know, California and New Mexico and uh, Louisiana, Georgia, New York, all those are really giant hubs for film production. But Utah also has a foot in that game because we're close to LA. We have all the resources. We have this incentive program, mm -hmm. and we find ourselves telling that story a lot. You know, you can you're you're here in 90 minutes. It's not a flight across the country. You can get right. actors and talent in and out within a day, and that really is a selling point for a lot of people. It's, it's interesting that for a while so much business was leaving California mm -hmm. that I just, you know, they, they've had a recent resurgence themselves where all yeah. of a sudden it's cool to shoot in California again and, and, and a lot of people go, have they ever stopped shooting in right. California? 
yeah. But that just goes to, to show, you know, the, the, the level of uh, excellence in Utah and in, in some other places yeah. in showing filmmakers that, you know, you don't have to stick to L.A. Well, and I think it is location-based. We do have, as you were saying, the gorgeous scenery. We have, we can show small town. We can shoot big city. It's a lot of different looks in one place. We're easy to get around. And so all of that helps the filmmaker say, okay, I can get more bang for our buck here in Utah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you are going to be, you actually have, you'll be up at the museum on Main Street, yeah, right? Yeah, we take over the Park City Museum for, for okay. the festival, and we have a great lounge there. It's a great space to kind of relax and get off Main, and so everyone should stop by. All right. Well, make, make sure you do that. Uh, stop by and uh, uh, make sure that you uh, check out Virginia. She'll be working the booth, so to speak, <laughs> I guess. You're always working hard during Sundays. It's just interesting to find out exactly what you're working on. Uh, she's with the Utah Film Commission. They do a great job in bringing uh, all this immense creativity to Utah, and hopefully it'll go on long into the future. We've got more in the can coming up after this.